Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn the four bar link mechanism in the SolidWorx. First of all, we will create the each and every link and later we will assemble them to create the four bar link mechanism. We will see and demonstrate how the four bar, bar link mechanism works. And later we will do some motion analysis by creating the motion plot. And we will, for example, we will plot the displacement, velocity, etc. as an example. And let's do it. Now close it. And create a new part file here. Go to part. Now we will create the linkage separately. Four links. First of all, go to the any plane. I am going to the front plane and take a center point straight slot start from here and first of all draw the shape of the slot now define it the center distance is 120 mm and this gap is 20 you can put your own dimension now take a circle command and start from this point and provide the 10 mm radius again from this point provide the 10 mm radius okay now go to feature and exclude it exclude up to the 5 mm only okay now this is our first link now save it in a file now create a new folder I rename it and rename this as a 120 mm link save it now we will create the another link this one is easy you can create by selecting any plane in any dimension now this is our second link dimension this same is the previous but this time provide the 20 mm length and this gap same 20 this one is not 20 this one is 40 draw a circle and provide the 10 mm diameter provide 10 ok now you can go to feature and exclude it up to 5 mm this one is our second link again save it 40 mm link now again create our third link are going to create this separately so it takes some time you can directly apply the dimension here this time provide the 160 mm length this is the longest link no no first of all create the Two holes this time also 10 and this gap is again 20 okay now you can exclude it 
up to 5 mm again save it this time rename it as a 160 mm link now our last part go to any plane and again take the center point straight thrust you can directly dimension it this time dimension 100 mm and this width 20 you can directly dimension it dimension this 20 only again take the circle and provide the two circle of diameter 10 mm small dimension dimension this one is 10 mm okay go to feature and exclude it again exclude up to 5 mm okay now again save this in the same folder this time uh, save it as a 100 mm link, link. ok let's check the length whether it is 100 mm or not small dimension and dimension this make sure that it is 100 mm ok now save it now the four bar are ready now we are going to assemble them and we will study the motion analysis this time select the assembly now select the first of all 120 mm this one is the fixed bar make it normal you can change the background for better visibility again go to insert component this time select all th three remaining links okay now we are going to assemble them go to mat and select the co-centered mat select these two circles and provide the relation co-centric you can move them now you can select coincident as No, this one is not correct. Go to mat. Select coincident. Select this face and this face. Okay. Again, select this face and this face. Select co-centric and provide these two circular faces centric relation now one link is remaining for this go to again co entry select these two is okay again select now we will provide the delete the mid now first of all select the co-centric relation and later provide the coincidence relation between these two faces okay 
Now you can check the course centric and provide the course centric relation. Select this is and this is. Let's try to rotate it. This is our four bar link mechanism. You can provide some color. Select this one. This is a fixed bar. So let's provide the black color. You can apply the any color first of all select this link and provide the color as you want okay the third one let's provide the red color for this and for this one Let's provide the any color you want. Let's say yellow. Okay, now our four bar link mechanism is ready. It looks better. Now we will do some motion analysis. Go to motion study and select the motion analysis. Select the motor. And in the rotary motor, select the component to rotate. I'll select this component. And in the RPM, 100 is very big number. So let's provide 10 RPM. 10 RPM means it will rotate the 10 revolution in a single minute. Calculate it. you can increase the duration from here again calculate this is our four bar link mechanism you can save this animation from this tab again let's play it now this looks perfect this is the four bar link mechanism now we are going to create the motion plot simply pause it you can position at your own place now go to this select any edge of the face and right click now you will find the create the motion plot option here just click it now you have too many things selected clear it First of all, select the category. Now we are going to select the displacement, velocity, acceleration. You can select the force, momentum, or you can see the other plots also. But for example, we are going to see the displacement and velocity only. First of all, select the trace the path. And in this selection, select any edge you like. Select this edge, and you will get the path click ok now again go to this edge select this edge and create a motion plot first of all select the category in the sub category select the trace path select this edge ok now go to this face in normal now this link will move up from this point to this point only this is the kind of limit and but for this shortest link it will rotate in a circular path let's play the animation now you can see the starting point of from center of this circular hole is from this point to this point only for this yellow link shortest link 
and the path is circular in this way you can see the path using the motion plot now we will see velocity and acceleration for this go to the create a motion plot again and select the category displacement velocity in the sub category this time select the linear displacement now select the is no select this piece and you can select the axis here now you can sell you have to select this okay now it's working now this is the plot for this bar and let's play the animation now it shows the linear displacement for this link for the different instances you can study the displacement like this now in this position the displacement linear displacement is as one in the plot in this way you can create the plot using the solid ox motion analysis let's see another let's see the velocity right click it again go to category select velocity in the x component and it will create the plot for the now acceleration is selected you can select any acceleration or velocity and play it you will see the change in the acceleration value at the different instances Similarly, you can create the plot as your requirement. Velocity. And this one is for the velocity. Meter per second. In this way, you can create the plots using the solar box motion analysis. Thank you for here today. I hope you learned something from this tutorial thank you for your time guys thank you very much